Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Thanks for stopping by. I'm in Luminar Neo today, and I was editing this photo, which is a skyline view of Austin. And I, uh, I got to a certain point in the edit, and I was like, it just needs a little something else. I just need to give it a little oomph. And I found the tool that did that for me, and that tool is Super Contrast. I'm going to show you how you can use that uh, to really pop an image and why it's so important and powerful. Let's get going. Here is my base photo. Now I'm going to go ahead and brighten it because it is very dark, as you can obviously uh, tell quite easily. I'm going to lift the uh, lift the exposure, something about like that. I'm going to lift uh, Smart Contrast as well, so maybe about like that. Highlights are going to come down a fair amount. I'm uh, trying to control that sky. It's a little bit bright and Super Contrast will help with that as well. And then I'm going to lift shadows a little bit. And so like low 20, something like that. So I've got a decent looking photo. It's much brighter. You can see a lot better into the foreground now, of course, which was one of the challenges. Obviously the entire image was dark, but now it's much brighter and better looking, but I'm not done. I'm going to come into temperature. I'm going to cool it off a little bit. Something about like that. I'm going to give it a little bit of a tint bump as well. So maybe about there, just a smidge of vibrance and a little bit of sharpening as well. And so far, you know, like I said, I feel like I've got a pretty nice base photo to start with. There it is before and there it is now. I'm going to do a couple of more things. The first one is Accent AI and I'm going mid 40s. And I did a video recently where I said, hey, don't use this early, use it late not necessarily all the time. Sometimes I use it kind of early. It really helped, I think, in this photo. But something to think about, the video is there if you want to look at it. But it works really well. And uh, I think kind of brought a little bit more life to the photo. And then I'm going to add Golden Hour, which really pops some of those warmer tones. This was a sunset, but as you can see, it wasn't much of a sunset. It was Actually, it was kind of pre-sunset. It was kind of approaching golden hour. But if you look at the before and the after, really pop some of those tones, which I like. But I'm going to have to come in and fix a little bit of those, uh, those warmer tones. Now, the first thing I want to do is get into the hue. And in the yellow, I'm going to go to about a 20 or so. And in the green, I'm going to go to like a 29. So I'm basically just getting those further away from the warmish, yellowy kind of look and more towards the green is kind of what it comes down to. But having done that, I want to come in with saturation and I'm going to take yellow down like a negative 20 or 22, something like that. And green's going to come down quite a bit, actually, about like 60 or so. Just trying to tame those colors a little bit. And that's what I love about HSL, just lots of flexibility to adjust color in those specific color channels. So there it is before HSL and there it is now. Just like a little bit more green. I think that plays off kind of the blue and the uh, the warmer tones. I think it looks nice. Here's where I came in and I was like, I need a little something else. And what you might be tempted to do, or at least I've been tempted to do, is look at this and say, it's still kind of dark in the foreground. You know, the highlight, I, I don't know. I feel like I could balance the light a little bit better. And what you might choose to do is accent AI or go back into develop and get shadows and lift those. But this is why I think Super Contrast is the tool for these kind of jobs because it does such a great job of isolating those different tonal areas, you know, the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows, as you can see in the tool, and really pop in that contrast. And the contrast impacts the color because that's the other thing I want to do here is give this photo a little bit more oomph. So I ended up going to about a 39 here in highlights contrast. And in midtones, I went to about 27 or 28, but I brought the balance down like a negative 40. So all I'm doing is basically just dialing it in to my liking. And the big move that I think really helped was shadows contrast. I went to about 55. You can see how that brightens those darker areas kind of at the bottom. And then the balance, I went negative. So I went to about a negative 40, which is really further brightening those. But for me, the big difference is contrast pops the color and lifting the shadows to get a brighter foreground, things like that. All that's doing is just adjusting the light. So you could come in, like I said, with shadows. Or you could use Relight AI. Great tools. I love them. But I think Super Contrast is a better fit a lot of times if you're going for this kind of pop because the contrast is the difference between the dark and the bright, but you also have the balance, which can help you accentuate it. And for me, the key thing is contrast because of that difference really pops color. And me, I like color. So, you know, may or may not be applicable. Again, depends on the photo. But in this case, my photo looked like that, which was kind of flatter. And I like it. There's nothing wrong with it. But, you know, I look at it, I'm like, eh, it's a little... It's almost too contrasty, if that makes sense. And, you know, a little too dark in some areas and just lifting the shadows 
that would just balance the light, but adding super contrast and dialing it in, I kind of basically, with highlights, I got a bit of a polarizing effect in the sky. I was able to do a lot of shadows lifting in the foreground, and of course, it pops the color. So that is why I think super contrast is super important, and of course, super useful. It can really have a huge impact on your photo. One more time, there it is before, and I was kind of like, you know, I like it, blah, 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 but I wanted a little extra something, and I think that super contrast did it without overdoing it. And again, because you can dial in all these different controls, the amount of contrast and the balance just gives you a ton of control. So if you go back to my original, there it is, obviously very dark, uh, so we had to brighten it and do those kind of things, but the after, vibrant, I think beautiful, and really has come to life. Super Contrast, I highly recommend that you become good friends with that tool. As you can see, I've got it up here in favorites, and uh, I'm gonna use it all the time, and I do use it all the time, admittedly. So that's it for this one, my friends. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you soon. And until then, you guys take care of yourselves and adios.